their lifetime, almost one in every three women in the Caribbean will have experienced at least one form of non-partner sexual violence, which includes acts that inflict physical, mental, or social harm, or suffering threats of such acts, coercion, and other deprivations of liberty. As we join the international community in observing the annual global 16 days campaign, which includes calls for the prevention and elimination of violence against women and girls and focus attention on human rights as a region and as women in particular, we must pause to reflect on what this means for us. In 2021, the UN Secretary General noted that globally, violence against women and girls continues to be the most pervasive and pressing human rights issue in the world today. Noting that it is both an abhorrent crime and a public health emergency requiring that we redouble our efforts toward eliminating violence against women and girls. Governments around the world have committed to gender equality, evident in their adoption and implementation of international agreements, such as the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, CEDAW. The Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, as well as enacted laws to address violence against women and girls. Still, we must do more with urgency as we confront the reality that violence against women and girls has reached pandemic proportions. Additionally, according to UN Women, three of the top 10 recorded rape rates in the world occur in the Caribbean. While the worldwide average for rape was 15 per 100,000, the Bahamas had an average of 133. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 112. Jamaica, 51. Dominica, 34. Barbados, 25. And Trinidad and Tobago, 18. The report further pointed to a survey which revealed that in nine Caribbean countries, 48% of adolescent girls, sexual initiation was forced or somewhat forced. We must all do our part in making our homes, communities, schools, places of worship and workplaces safe and free from violence. Take action, raise awareness, unite to end gender-based violence.